First responders are our first priority. You know, when other people are running the other direction, they're running towards danger. When it comes to buying from Golden State Fire Apparatus, we're a team that you can trust. Everyone in this industry and in any business needs partnerships more than just salespeople. And we feel that that's where we come in. We're really a partner. There's a trust that goes back and forth with that because it's a relationship that we want to develop for a long time. We believe that honesty is one of the primary factors that the fire service is interested in working with in a private company because the fire departments, they have to plan when an apparatus is out of service, they have to be able to plan and prepare at their end. And that means they need to find a service supplier that will make sure that we keep them up to speed, communicate with them weekly, and that they can count on the fact that when we say an apparatus will be ready, it will be ready to return to the fire department. We're proud to represent the most respected names in the industry, led by Pierce Manufacturing, Skeeter Brush Trucks, Firematic Supply Company, EJ Metals, Frontline Communications Vehicles, and, uh, Oshkosh Airport Products. Our customers come from a variety of uh, backgrounds. We have cities, counties, fire districts. You look at uh, one community compared to the next, you've got mountainous terrain, you've got waterways, you've got farmland, you've got urban areas and everything in between. So trucks are typically designed to meet those specific criteria in those areas. Our parts department has evolved over time. Um, we started out with a minimal inventory and over the last couple of year, years, we've worked to build that into a two-story uh, modern facility, 4,500 square foot um, facility that is loaded with parts. Um, the reason why that is important is we understand the urgency um, of customers to fulfill their mission. So if they don't have parts and we're unable to ship them, they're unable to um, carry out their mission. So we want to stock those parts to support those customers so they can fulfill their mission and support the uh, community that they're serving. Each and every piece of equipment that arrives from the factory here at Golden State Fire is checked through in a pre-delivery inspection process. We check every component on that rig from the, from the, from the pump to every single electrical component to ensure that that vehicle is operating at the highest level it possibly can for the firefighters out there in the field. We have a technician with over 30 years of experience that knows exactly what the firefighter needs in the field. So when they come to us with loose equipment needs, we're able to not only consult but also install at the highest level so when they actually are engaged in an activity out there on scene, that loose equipment is ready for them at their disposal. So we started our business in 1989, and uh, we've been in business. We're going to be celebrating our 30th year this year, which is something we're very proud of. But what does the next 30 years carry? And that's what we're concentrating on. We want to expand our footprint within our territory. We want to provide a better service, a quicker service to our customers, and to continue to be the leading brand of sales and service within our territory. And so that's where our concentration is, not where we've been, but where we're going. We're proud of where we've been. Uh, but we're excited where we're going and we hope our customer base uh, sees and understands the investments that we're making in our business and is right in line with us as, as we grow. We want them to grow and, and have a better uh, experience with us. Our operation is not only just built on the Golden State and Pierce Way, it's, the, it's built on receiving customer feedback, input from our customers, what they need in the industry, what they need in the market, what they need to be successful. Um, out there in the field and you know in protecting you know, property and community and, and lives. After all it could be us one day that needs needs help in an emergency and we want to make sure that our trucks are responding, they're reliable. And the last thing that those guys responding to an emergency need to think about is an apparatus. We should be able to take that out of the equation and repair it with the same urgency that they have when they're responding to an emergency.